गुड इवनिंग स्टूडेंट्स इन द फाइनल रिविजन वी आर टेकिंग एनालिटिकल केमिस्ट्री इन द एनालिटिकल केमिस्ट्री यू आर हैविंग फोर इंपॉर्टेंट इक्वेशन आई टेल यू द सिंपल मेथड हाउ टू रिमेम्बर फर्स्ट वन इज एक्शन ऑफ एन एओ एच ऑन मेटालिक सॉल्ट सोल्यूशन रिमेम्बर दिस एक्शन ऑफ एन एओ एच ऑन मेटालिक सॉल्ट सोल्यूशन फॉर दैट जनरल इक्वेशन यू हैव टू रिमेम्बर very very important thing what you have to do is don't memorize these equations i'll tell you how to memorize first and foremost thing is write down your general equation what is the general equation here take any salt solution with naoh any salt solution with naoh you will get metallic hydroxide and that particular salt this is your general equation in that how many examples are there six examples are there what are the six examples calcium then ferrous ferric then we have copper zinc lead and ammonium ion so very simple first and foremost thing is general equation salt solution plus naoh gives that particular metal hydroxide that is oh minus oh minus oh minus and that salt in your solution and how many examples just six examples and we have written all the six equations like this now first example what is the first one take calcium so here you have taken calcium nitrate so ca will have two plus calcium nitrate is your salt solution and take alkali why you wrote two naoh because here you can say that oh is only minus 1 but here what is the positive charge Plus two. Therefore, you want to make this also as minus two. Therefore, we have two NaOH here. Very simple. If the positive ion is two plus, make the negative also two minus. So that's what you will get. Ca will have two plus. OH will be minus one. Therefore, put two here. You will get metal hydroxide. So metal solution gives you metal hydroxide. What is the remaining thing? Here you are having Na plus. and here no3 you will be getting the salt and nothing but any no3 so hope you have understood the first equation very simple second equation take it as this is 2 plus and this is 3 plus ferrous and ferric now example feso4 you have again the same thing why did you take two moles of naoh here because you are having two positive charge here you should have two negative charges hence you took 2 naoh now what will be your metal hydroxide metal is fe so fe2 plus and this is 2 minus so metal hydroxide is feoh2 what is the remaining thing you got na plus and so for 2 minus so this will give you sodium sulfate so second equation also you have understood in this if you have 3 plus nothing but ferric what do you will do this is minus this is plus how many positive charges three positive charges therefore you should make it as three negative hence we have taken three moles of naoh i think you understood the difference here you have taken only two moles what is the reason because positive charge is plus 2 hence it is taken as 2 here it is plus 3 hence take the coefficient as 3 here now what will be your hydroxide this is 3 plus therefore 3 minus should be written hence your hydroxide will become feoh3 earlier it was feoh2 now it is feoh3 because of this hope you have understood and what is the final salt here this is cl minus this is na plus hence you will get nacl that is also understood balancing is very simple now we have completed calcium ion and iron now move to the third one copper again take this so for sulfate 2 minus cu is 2 plus now you yourself can identify what will be the coefficient definitely it will be 2 what is the reason the positive charge here is plus 2 hence here you have to write it 2 now what will be your hydroxide metal is cu2 plus and hydroxide is 2 so cuoh2 or cuoh2 will be your metal hydroxide and what will be the leftover salt here na so you have na plus and so4 2 minus so 
so you will be getting Na2SO4 nothing but sodium sulfate hope you have understood this a very simple method take the salt solution and alkali NaOH you will get metal hydroxide so hydroxide you have to take and the other product is salt now what is the fourth example Zagan 2 plus so because you have 2 plus immediately write 2 NaOH very simple because you wrote 2 NaOH hydroxide here also will be OH2 now identify that this is ZnOH twice what is left out SO4 2 minus and Na plus so therefore the salt will be Na2SO4 so with this we complete 4 now what will be the fifth see here you can also understand one more important thing if an important one mark question if they give excess NaOH then what will happen if you add more and more NaOH this particular precipitate will get dissolved so now ZnOH2 will take excess of NaOH and gets dissolved and remember that you are getting zincate so this is additional equation apart from this add two moles of NaOH still excess then what will happen this gets dissolved and you will get a zincate zincate means ZnO2 minus 1 so that you can write it so this is excess of NaOH same thing lead nitrate you take if you take lead nitrate lead has got 2 plus hence the coefficient of NaOH will be definitely 2 and here you will get OH twice that is understood now what is the salt obtained here NO3 minus and Na plus hence you will get Na NO3 so sodium nitrate and again one more important point here important one more question if excess of NaOH is there what will happen this precipitate again gets dissolved so adding of excess of NaOH what will happen earlier you got zinc zincate now with the plumbum you will get plumbite that means sodium plumbite is formed this is another equation please make a note of that now we are into the last equation that is if you take salt solution which contains ammonium ion what will happen is you will be getting ammonia gas this is an important equation where it deviates instead of hydroxide you will be getting ammonia gas so what is that ammonium chloride and ammonium sulfate you can take so what will happen here plus 1 therefore coefficient is 1 here it is plus 2 therefore coefficient is 2 hope you are able to understand in all these cases very simple plus 1 means 1 NaOH plus 2 means 2 NaOH if it is plus 3 means 3 NaOH like that same thing if you are taking hydroxide also you will get the similar type of charges hope you have understood this next NH4 plus now here what will happen you are getting salt is NaCl and water plus ammonia is liberated in the next case also you will get water plus ammonia so hope you have understood this what is happening here Na plus and Cl minus will combine and you will get NaCl as the salt here 2 Na plus SO4 2 minus combine and you get Na 2 SO4 as salt what is left out this one is giving us water plus ammonia because you are having two moles you will get two water and two NH3 here you are having one ammonium and one OH hence you will get one water and one NH3 so very simple to understand so in this we have completed only one equation in the next lecture we can complete the remaining three equations in the same easy method so hope you have understood the first equation and let us meet again with the remaining three equations thank you so much